This program is brought to you by Thermomix. Welcome to Hello Darling, Season 8. Today, my very special guest for lunch is Grace Mazur, the queen of Thermomix. Grace built her empire, her business empire, with hard work, vision and persistence. And while we're having lunch, Grace will chat to me about her journey to success and her recipes for life. Now, Grace, what are we having for lunch today? Oh, today we are having our favorite, my favorite dish. It's a mushroom risotto. Mushroom porcini slippery jack risotto. Amazing. My mouse is already running, so we, I'm turning the magic button. Yes. And while we're chatting, the lunch will be cooked for us. Hello, darling. Welcome to my show. Hello, darling. I'm so happy to be here. Grace, what an amazing, amazing achievement. I believe that um, Thermomix is now the most successful distributor of the gadget in the world, Thermomix Australia. How did your journey with Thermomix begin? Yes, it is. It's amazing. It's been over 22 years uh, since it has begun. The overall journey for me has begun back in Poland. My background is Polish, so it's yours, so Dzień Dobry first. Dzień Dobry, yes, of course. We're going to mention you come originally from Poland, yes. So, how did you first time discover Thermomix, or Thermomix discovered you? I discovered it in Poland. I went back um, for a holiday. When I came to Australia, I first joined the mining industry. I was very much in the mining industry, working for the government, also um, having my own consulting company for the mining industry. Went on holidays, caught up with a friend of mine from high school, and her kids whipped up three course meal. And I wasn't expected. And you know, we were having coffee, and there was the meal done. So I had to ask, how did that happen? And of course, Thermomix came as the solution. How old were the kids? They were teenagers, like 13, 14 years old, and they were already cooking. So I thought, I have to bring one back so my daughter can do the same. She loved cooking, but... Yes, and tell me, Grace, uh, the beginnings, how to introduce Thermomix to Australia, which is uh, the company is obviously Australia and New Zealand now. Tell me the steps, how easy or how the journey to, to, to to make it happen? Well, when, uh, first of all, I brought it with me. I started using it. Bianca, my daughter, was using it. And I enjoyed it so much. It empowered me so much. I was full-time working, running my own company. Bianca was going to high school. So I could see how much difference it made in my life. I wanted to share that with everyone else. So I was, you know, I was talking to the German company. I wanted to bring it over to Australia. But they were not very keen. They had their own market in Australia. This and is Forbeck, yes, exactly. we have to, it's manufactured by Forbeck. Why weren't they keen to bring it to Australia? I think the perception was in Australia we very much into a fast food, surfing, barbecue, but no real food. That was the perception. They have a point, but yeah. how did you persist? My perception, my, I mean, not only perception, my uh, experience was different. Even when I was in, lived in Manmagnet in the country, all of my Australian friends were cooking. They were making cakes for my daughter for her birthday. So I could see a different side of Australia. Diff I had different experience. And I could see how much change I could make. And also by education. Uh, at that time, our coffee was becoming amazing. Look, now we're the top baristas in the world with coffee and with food. We've got amazing food in Australia. The whole food industry was changing in Australia so much. And I could feel it, experience it. Loving food, I could really feel it. So. Okay, so how did you convince such a huge company distributor that a woman from Poland comes and say, I, ah, by the way, I just arrived in Australia. I believe it will be big success. How did you convince such a huge company to say yes and to give you the exclusive rights, which is now? Persistence, lots of emails. Lots yeah. of emails going backwards and forwards. They were saying, no, I just sent another email. And eventually one day they said, well, we are here in Sydney, so come and meet us. So I put my business plan together, jab on a red aisle, f you know, red aisle f uh, flight over to Sydney, caught up with them, showed them my business plan, and they agreed. Okay, so it's likely to say that Thermomix changed your life, 
and now you're changing and improving other lives, people lives by allowing them to. Does it, does it sound right? In 2023, 700,000 households will use Thermomix in Australia. Is this correct statistic I read in your Yes, it Bye. is. Yes. 700,000. Yes, it changed my life, definitely yes. changed my life in so many ways. Uh, we have changed life of, you know, this year's over 700,000 customers Amazing. in Australia and New yes. Zealand. So those households will be cooking breakfast, lunch and dinner easily with Thermomix. And also um, uh, 3,000 consultants, you know, they have, they also, um, we're very, uh, I'm very proud of the work they do. Yes. And they changing those lives with the consultants, you know, they're like personal coaches for those customers. Because they basically run their own businesses. So the direct selling model business that Thermomix is uh, you running, you're overseeing 3,000 consultants. How many employees? Over 100, 150 uh, employees now, yeah. That comes my next question. Did you have selling skills when you arrived in Australia from Poland? No, I think a lot of selling skills. Even the uh, language, the English I had to learn from the beginning. So how did, you, how did you educate yourself? I think you always find a way, uh, curiosity, being curious, being driven. That's our value in Thermomix, being driven. We're never cruising. Yeah. Being driven, looking for solutions, you know, learning the language and being in the mining industry. And uh, I've learned so many skills from that industry, mm -hmm. which I could apply. Then i done my selling course, but I think the selling is overrated this, these days. You need to have a relationship business. We need to relate to people. And we teach consultants also how to relate to people. Everybody should have Thermomix for different reasons. It has to fit into your lifestyle. That was my next question. What do you think are the most valuable and most important leadership skills? Because you are a master of it now, running such a huge company. What are the most important leadership skills that are points? There's lots, there's, there's lots of skills, but keeping it simple. Simplicity is the most important part because sometimes we overcomplicate things. As a company, we always say people first. Everything will fall into place, but look after people first, whether it's customers, consultants, being best at customer journey, being best for the consultants. Those relationships are really, really important. Having an abundant mindset. Mm -hmm. There's abundance of opportunities for everyone mm -hmm. and being driven. So, uh, and in the leadership, um, you know, leading the way by example mm -hmm. as well. So leading the way is very important. And tell me about Thermomix itself. What are the most, most, most important benefits for the viewers that watching us that don't have it yet? What are the biggest benefits? Health benefits? Because I have one for 20 years. I think it was my best investment. Change your life? life? Change life. Excellent. And I always say it's for people that love to cook and people that don't have time and don't like to cook because it cooks delicious food for you. Yeah? Yes, we always talk about them. It's about, it's about time. We all uh, yeah. time for. It will give you extra time. Um, it, it will save you money as well. as when you, The more you use it, the, the more money you save. You go back to basics. The health um, element it's very important those days. You want to know what's in the food. Yes. You can go back to basics. You can yes. avoid those additives and food colorants. And um, we've got so many intolerances these days, celiacs and nut allergies. You can actually do that easily. And also creativity. You want it, it to look good. We've got chefs on board. Chefs are using it. So you can look like a chef, French chef or Italian well, chef. Well, I came across many restaurants that have Thermomix in their kitchens, sometimes multiple Thermomix to to support the functionality of, of a cooking, yes? Mm -hmm. Incredible. I think we are address, you are addressing with the knowing what's in your food so much the young generation, you know, that wants to know what's in their food, what's in the products they put on their face and body. I think this is really like catering for the young people currently that are very conscious of what they eating and putting. It yeah. is, it is With? important for every generation. For young generation, what's in the food? Yeah. Vegan, vegetarian, all different trends. Uh, we, can, we can support and help. The consultants can coach uh, those people as well. But, but the older generations also, the arthritis and mm -hmm. not being able to chop, this just happens by mm -hmm. itself within seconds. No one, some people might not have the strength to chop and, and um, they don't have the knife skills or possibility. So it's great for every generation, but the young generation, it's a 
embracing it so much for those reasons you mentioned? The world is changing. In 20 years, the world has changed incredibly, including Australia. How did you find being a woman to start with, and now such a successful woman? Do you find it as a, do you have obstacles with it? Did you have? Does it always open more doors? Because it sounds like a dream journey. Tell me about any obstacles that you came across to make it more real, because it's too successful to be true. I'm joking, it is successful. But what was your biggest obstacles at the beginning? Um, these, oh, there have been always a lot of obstacles. When you go through life, yes. there's always, call it crisis, call it sort of, uh, but in every crisis there's opportunity. Um, the change and adaptability is very important. Changing the countries, living in Germany, coming to Australia, you feel almost like you lost everything except the accent. They come to the point that you've got everything, including only the accent, which is amazing. Um, so changing the countries, it's, you know, um, starting in your business also. When I've started working seven days a week, you need to really love what you're doing. Um, there were times where I fell asleep even on a plane and didn't get, you know, just barely got off the plane. A lot of hard work goes into it. Um, as you grow the company, different obstacles come along, even litigations, they come across a lot of companies. So really setting on your values, knowing your values, knowing what you go for, uh, are going for is very important. But that will give you the sustainability and the drive to get through any challenge. Gender inequality, what's your view on it, which we know is still huge? It, between 13 and 16 percent men out earn women, generally speaking. What's your view on the gender inequality? What can we do as individuals to? It is huge. In thermomix, we have more women in a, uh, in a uh, sales force, but we are also looking for more men. We've got quite a, a lot of successful men. They could in qualities. They're going through life. I was in part of the mining industry, and I came across a lot of um, those examples. Uh, and having courage to speak up as well. I remember being in the uh, in the public sector even when there were promotions, speaking up and standing up and really believing it, it makes a difference, make a difference for both parties and really fighting for it. In Thermomix, we also teach disk profiles. So knowing what your disk profile is, knowing how to deal with others and really whatever you're standing for, when you see injustice, speak up, have confidence, because we all can make a difference and we have such a long way to go. Grace, tell me, what's your vision for Thermomix? What's the vision for the future? There's so many things we want to do. I may, oh, where do I start? Um, we want Thermomix on every single bench top in Australia. Every household deserves to have a Thermomix on the bench top. We probably supplied 7% of the households, yeah. so we still got a way to go. Amazing, lots of opportunities. Um, we are working right now, health is a very important part of it. So we are working on a diabetic cookbook with our media and also on a magazine that will be available in supermarkets and also news agents. You just took my question away. As oh. Yeah, I, I heard about it and congratulations. Tell me about the new magazine. Yes, it's going to be out in October. It's yes. going to be available in all the news agencies and it will be available in Woolworths and, uh, and Coles and other supermarkets. Um, so look out for it. Lots of amazing, interesting recipes. Yes. There will be a special chef and he will be sharing. A prominent chef, a yes. prominent chef. Okay, yes. that's very exciting. Give me the initials. I know it's a secret. Uh, the R, the R, and it's on the East Coast. And yes, yeah. okay. Google comes, yeah, I don't. And, and how many recipes are all together available from Thermomix, by Thermomix? How many recipes? Well, there's a big library of recipes. Over 80,000 on the Cookie Do, which is a platform, and over 3,000 Australian. In English, it's close to 10,000 in English. You can also use the authentic Italian, Spanish, and German recipes. And those recipes just magically jump on your Thermomix. So you've got them at your fingertips. So that's the benefit of it. So you can cook, whether you, if you feel French for the weekend, you can cook the Far Breton. If you feel Italian, you can cook the lasagna or other dishes. Or if you feel Polish, you can cook pierogi easy. Incredible. My mouse is running again. And as we mentioned, the health benefits, please list it one more time because it's so important. The health benefits of having food cooked in, your, in, in Thermomix. 
that's the main reason I started. I wanted to make a difference and go back to basics. It's grandmother's cooking made easy with ingredients we can recognize, real food, um, avoiding those additives, uh, avoiding all those things, numbers, things that we cannot pronounce. Yes. So really knowing what's in the food and also adjusting to people's needs. Now we've got people vegan, vegetarian and low carb. We can do it all with Thermomix at, with ease. So the new magazine coming out in October, who is going to be on the cover of the magazine? It's going to be an amazing cake. A cake, yeah. Polish twins, a bit of a Polish connection, yes. something new, something different, something nostalgic, something retro, but modern, and everyone can do it. Incredible. I'm so much, so much looking forward to it. Grace, any age, anybody, any gender, any talent, any Anybody who loves or doesn't love cooking will make a magic dish on Thermomix. Is it correct? Yes, that's correct. Everyone can use Thermomix. And as a parent, as parents, and I, myself as a parent, I think it's very important as mothers and fathers, we need to teach the next generation how to cook. Teaching them, you know, involving them in a the kitchen, cooking with them so they understand and they're so curious, they are, they're so willing. So yeah. we need to spend more time as a family together at the table, in the kitchen, cooking together and sharing those amazing dishes. Incredible. Especially in the digital area, it's, it's almost, I mean, they can use their iPhone and their, all the gadgets, you know. From we can share them on social media, all those dishes and pictures after. Yes, absolutely, as well. So it's, it's fun. It's fun oriented activity. And Grace, being a mother, and now I believe grandmother, because I think your beautiful daughter Bianca is very much involved in the business, running business with you. How easy is to work as family? The whole family works in the business. My husband from the day one, he was the backbone. He supported me with the cooking classes, with service, with everything. Bianca, she's a dietitian. She went first and worked uh, in the public sector and in different jobs, and she came back when she was ready. She's, you know, we can share ideas, you know, and it's so rewarding to teach her the business yes. process as well, so that the next generation can succeed in it. My son-in-law, amazing son-in-law, Matt, he is part of the business, not only in, in service, he is such a solution-driven person, and he comes up with all those exciting um, ideas and insights, and always very, with his very analytical mind so the whole family is in, in the business the grandkids we have to bring them in and do and get them to so I was just going to ask when are they coming in how young are they uh, they are nine seven and three so but they're very interested they they already they're cooking with Bianca with myself they enjoy making biscuits Anzac biscuits for Anzac day they love you know the food they understand what's in their food they're very conscious of you know what's in the food as well. So I think you know Bianca is doing a great job as a mom, teaching them already with you know what's in the food. How old was Bianca when she got introduced to 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 Thermomix? She really? just finished year twelve. She was going to uni, so so that yeah. translates to being nine. Yes, uh, yeah, ten? maybe a little bit older. Yeah, ten. Okay. Yeah. So here we go. The journey started in age of ten. Your grandchildren are now just Sorry. marching up to do it. Yes. Yes. Would you consider that Thermomix could host the cooking classes in schools or maybe online to, to continue mm -hmm. educating young generation to decrease the intake of fast food? I read about the overuse of salt in Australia per person. It's used half, uh, double as much as, as one supposed to use, which obviously gets cut mm. down with this natural ingredients, yes? Yeah, the home economics are using it. It was part of the curriculum in some of the states already. Wow. So we are making a big impact as well from the yes. young generation, definitely. I remember doing a demo once in a school here in WA, mm -hmm. and the young boy said, oh, Mrs., if I have one, I will keep it in my bedroom. And I said, will you share it with the family? I said, I like it so how much. Wonderful. <laughs> so it's amazing how the new generation, how... how so the strengths... Like. Strange sound coming out of a bedroom will be Thermomix, not what you would think. Yeah. <laughs> Better than the iPad, hey? How if beautiful. they start cooking, I will be much happier as a grandmother. That's beautiful. Grace, after all these stories, thank you so much for sharing your journey. I think it's time for lunch. I think our beautiful mushroom risotto must be ready now. I can hear something. I can smell it. It smells beautiful. 
how? Grace, tell me again about this beautiful dish. What are we, what are we eating? Um, it's a classical Italian risotto. Yes. And what's in it, obviously? Uh, yeah, of course, the arborio rice and the parmesan cheese is so important. Mm. But the mushrooms, you can use any mushrooms, different mushrooms, you can use porcini. We've used today slippery jacks that I picked. Delicious. Whatever you picked it is delicious. And it took how long to cook as we were chatting? Well, 16 to 18 minutes and it's ready. Mm. Without stirring, it just stirring mm. without the job. So mm. it's very creamy, hey? This is so delicious. Why are we eating lunch? This beautiful lunch. What's your recipe for life? The recipe for life, overall, I would say it's adaptability. Being able to adapt to every situation, to different countries, wherever you, li wherever you live. Whatever the situation come, you come across, there's always a solution. Being a solution driven, having that positive mind, surrounding yourself with an amazing team, so you can conquer any challenges and move forward with confidence. So to be open and to be flexible. Flexibility, Thank especially you. with these times, I think there's so much change happening. So teaching the next generation and ourselves getting through that change and adaptability is an important part of life. Now, thank you for that. Grace, I always give my guest at the end and thank you. Thank you so much for being my guest here today and for helping to prepare this amazing lunch. If I give you a magic wand and you have two wishes, one for yourself and one for the world, what would be your wish for the world? I think it's the peace. Coming back, coming from Poland, which is surrounding country to Ukraine, my parents came from the part of Poland that is Ukraine. If they haven't left, I would be Ukrainian myself. I know the situation. And I think these are many parts of the world and that people are really afraid these, those days. I think for everyone to think about that peace. And also, you know, but not to worry about it too much. You still have to remember to have fun in life, in mm -hmm. business, have fun. It's a business of serious enjoyment. So in your life as well, it's a business of serious enjoyment. So have fun. But the peace in the world, I think, is the most important part. And for a woman who's got it all, Grace Mazur, what's magic want wish for yourself? I think finding that balance, I easily, I'm that A-type personality, so I easily go back into work and do more and do better. So finding that harmony, I'm doing now, you know, I'm an amazing person who teach me Tai Chi and meditation. I was very lucky to find that person. I'm also finding how to slow down, enjoy, smell the roses, but also finding the time with the family and the grandchildren and the next generation to invest in them so they could have an amazing life. Thank you, Chris. Thanks for being my special guest for lunch and on my show. Thank you for having and me, Barbara. All your wishes came true. Thank you. Thank you.